Hey church, hope you're doing well wherever you are watching this from, whatever time you're tuning in. Uh, welcome to Audacious Devotionals. My name is Matt from the Manchester campus. I'm the worship pastor, so looking after music and band and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it's an honour to uh, to sit down and bring you some thoughts from the Word of God today. Um, so I hope you can find some space, um, a quiet space wherever you are. Grab a brew, a drink, just a few minutes just to take a deep breath away from the day, um, away from the demands that the world's putting on you at the minute and just take some time to uh, hear what God wants to say to you today. Uh, I'm going through a passage that means a great deal to me, has done for a long time. It's Philippians 2 uh, verses 1 to 11. Um, so uh, let's give that a little bit of a read. Um, I'm going to read it through now, but uh, I encourage you to, if you'd like to, to pause this uh, video and just go and let those words sink in. Um, have some time just, if you've got some time, just to meditate on those words. Um, allow God to speak to you through them. Allow him to show you things that might be specific to your life about situ situations you're actually in. Um, and uh, and see what God just says to you initially through that and then you can come back and continue with the video if you've got time to do that I encourage you to um so here we go let's um let's read through uh, Philippians 2 uh, verses 1 to 11 so if there's any encouragement in Christ any comfort from love any participation in the spirit any affection and sympathy complete my joy by being of the same mind having the same love being in full accord and of one mind. Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God as something to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men and being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. It's huge, right? Um, for me, this passage sort of reveals, I think, the the heart and the motivation of of Jesus, uh, showing us why He has done the things that He's done for us and continues to do what He does for us. Um, yeah, let's, let's just go through it a, a little bit at a time, maybe. So. Um, Verses 1 to 2, it's a call to unity, right? Being of uh, the same mind, being in full accord and of one mind. Um, we're in a world, right, where there are so many reasons to be divided. There are so many reasons to uh, to hate one another, to dislike one another, to not get on with each other. And um, let's be honest, you know, when there's someone that we disagree with or someone that we don't see eye to eye with, we're we're very likely just to maybe not even associate with that person or, uh, you know, you know, go our separate ways or whatever. But um, I think this is a call for us to not necessarily agree on everything, because I don't think that's possible, um, but to love each other despite the differences, um, to celebrate the differences. Yeah, but to love each other, um, to put aside the thing that the pride that we might have in our hearts, because um, I know what that feels like to, to, to feel like you're in a situation where, you're right and someone else is wrong and oh it's hard to let go but actually you know what let it go give up that 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 pride uh, and just love uh, the other person regardless so yeah let's strive for that that sense of unity um that's really powerful isn't it and that's a powerful statement for the world to see when the church do that when we do that um for people to see that oh the way that they love each other um yeah amazing um Verses three to five, preferring one another, viewing other people as more significant than yourself. That's a really practical one, right? What what can you do today to uh, lay aside your own interests for a minute and just 
serve someone else. Just look at a way that you can hold someone else in more high regard uh, as more significant than yourself to lay down your interests and your uh, whatever it is just for a minute just to serve somebody else. Um, there's tons of ways we can think of doing that, right? Small ways and, and big ways that we can do that. Um, I know this is a little bit of an idealistic view. You might be thinking, oh, yeah, you know, it's a little bit of a, you know, a perfect view of the world where everyone's serving each other and loving each other and no one looks at their own interests. You know, it's unrealistic. And yeah, we fall short of that all the time. Right. Um, but there's a great moment in verse five where it says. Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. So this is more than just a nice thought. This is more than just, a, oh, wouldn't it be nice if everyone just got along? But actually, um, this is something that Jesus is saying. You have this. If you're, in, if, you, if you're in Christ, if you're a believer, if you're a member of the church, if you're someone who, who identifies as being in Christ, then this mindset is yours. Uh, you can do this. And if you're, a, you know, like me, sometimes a little bit of a cynical person, oh, this is really, really difficult. I fall short of this all the time. Why don't you just take a minute now, you can pause this video and just receive that gift. Lord, help me to, to view other people as more significant than myself and give me, maybe to give me some opportunities to do that today. Um, that's a really practical thing that we can do, isn't it? So you might want to just take a minute just to receive that gift right now, if that's something that you, you struggle with. And I think we all do to a level, right? So um, yeah, absolutely. Let's take a, maybe a bit of time now to do that if you want to. Um, verses six to eight. Read through those couple of lines again, verses six to eight, and just let those words sink in. I think, you know, we've gone from a practical kind of serve other people, be of one mind. That's great. But this is why now, this is why we're doing this, because we have the perfect example of Christ. He emptied himself. Imagine having all of the things that which when we're talking about Jesus, all the glory, the majesty, the power of almighty God, and just to lay it aside, it's mind blowing. Like you can't quite get your head around what that means um, for someone to do that. Um, but he did it all, all to live that life that we couldn't live, to die the death that we should have died, to take that punishment on the cross so that we could have a relationship with him. He's laid all of that aside just to serve us. And then we, we move on to verses 9 to 11. Therefore, God has highly exalted him. Now, because Jesus laid his life down, his godlikeness down, uh, he was then exalted above everything. And uh, it's kind of, you know, therefore God exalted him. If, if we're able to completely empty of ourselves, uh, empty ourselves of us and just serve other people, just serve God and have that really pure motive, that's when blessing comes right but are, re are we really able to do that I kind of think about that and think I, I don't know if I'm actually able to completely empty myself because I'll catch myself thinking well I'm I'm serving this other person actually oh it's just maybe so I look good or or I'm, I know I'm going to get something good back from it because I know that serving other people is good and it's really really difficult um, and we can kind of end up beating ourselves up right and you can come to the point of going well I can't follow this example I can't possibly um, do that but actually in one sense with it being an example to us go and love other people and serve other people this is actually remember that Jesus did this for us because we couldn't this is the greatest truth is that we can read this example and we can read that Jesus emptied himself of himself Thank you, Lord, and that therefore he has been exalted to the highest place uh, and, and, and we can worship him. Actually, he's done this for us. So whenever we do slip up, whenever we do uh, kind of come across that moment where we're like, oh, I can't do this. I can't I can't I don't have this pure motivation like you do, Jesus. He he says, that's OK. I've done this for you. Yes, it's an example for you. But actually, all you need to do is trust in Jesus today. When you do slip up, when you do find yourself falling short, um, don't count yourself out. Don't beat yourself up. Run to him and spend some time in awe of what he's done. Spend some time reading those words 
and just worship him, just be in awe of what he's done. Um, because in that way, that's when our, the renewing of our mind comes. That's when the renewing of our spirit will come. Um, and then we'll have the strength to go and, and, and love and serve the world um, how Jesus calls us to. So let's see the example, but let's worship Jesus for everything he's done for us um, in laying down everything that he is uh, for us um, so that we can have a relationship with him. So if you don't know Jesus today, if you don't have a relationship with Jesus, this is what he did for you. He laid down everything for you so that he could show you how much you mean to him. Um, so have a great day, Audacious. I hope you have an amazing day. Um, I hope you find some um, practical moments to love and serve the people around you. Uh, and I hope you find some time today to, to meditate on these words, to remember what Jesus has done for you, to be in awe of him and to worship him, uh, to exalt him above all things in your life. And let that be the thing that fuels you to go and love and serve the people around you. So have an amazing day. See you soon.